want the whole world to see this. This is the truth. I have two nephews who are going around like they're done Monday Marcos, yeah? Who are two-faced traitors, yeah? I only found out this yesterday from what they've done on my family and what they've been doing for years. They've robbed us. They've tried to rob us only recently. They've, they've been running us down for years. People that wanted to get involved with me, they've been telling them not to get involved with me. They wouldn't give me numbers. They've been telling me they've been known this for me, known that for me, known the other for me. I think they visited me twice to maybe three times in a, in a, in a, on a sentence one time. These boys are no good, filthy men. Anto, you know what I'm talking about, you, Anto Dial. You're number one. You rat on care on your cousin, because I seen the Book of Evans last year on Clover Hill, and you got that chap eight year. Right? Your fingerprints wasn't on one kilo, it was on twenty fucking five of them. You picked up every one of them. And there was no school bag. You put it into a bag and left it in the shed and sent Derek Gold with no return money because you know he wasn't coming back and you got that chap caught. And it's in the book of Evans and when he comes out he'll prove it. Yeah? And Kevin, you're saying, what did we ever get caught? Who did we ever run? And you with all the, with all the weed, all, well, all the fire you got caught with, what about the coke on the line, what about the weed on the line, what about the, 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 all the fellas that have been linked up to, with the Caesars all around, that are linked up to ye, you, the fellas that are open bail now at the minute, all linked up to ye, every Caesar, but they're all vulnerables, cause they won't retaliate, you're sort of hitting vulnerables to keep yourselves, uh, look, look at this, everyone in Carlo can tell what this are man, we're not handicaps or anything, but the said has done some things for me, and he's helped me out, he's done fuck all for me when he knocked me back and, 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 and your mother running me down when my brother died she was giving out because there was more publicity about my brother's death than there was about her brother's death fuck your fucking mother she's a hag always was a fucking hag she should have never married a dial if she fucking didn't want it if she didn't like it she fucking has a family sloping bits so she has she should be caught by the neck and hung from the fucking gates of Mount Joy because she's a witch she looks like one as well a fucking stamp over one now I'm telling you, you I, I'm fucking telling you you did rat on lads and you rat on a lot of lads and you don't want to talk about and who I'm talking about. Kieran's one, there's another fella up the Tuller Road wearing on a big sentence and there's another two other fellas out on bail and they all say you've done that. There's one fella getting out of jail waiting for revenge. You say, boys, you, 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 it's going to come to you but not got to do with me because I, I won't do that on my family but I'll tell you what you did do, you've ruined yourselves for life because I used to have helped you and I helped you a lot of times I'll never help you again for what you've done to my, my, me and my father and my brother. You're a fucking scum, scum of the fucking earth. That's what you you think I should feel pound? There's your big fellas. Do you not understand? For fucking 20 years before you get into the world, it's fucking no much alone 20 years longer. And I gave it up, you fucking handicap. And I got it because he would have rat on me. And he's ratting on me. Your mother did for years. And your father did as well. He's a rob that and robbed me. Robbed loads of stuff on me. Because 10 years, 10 things I just robbed. Robbed yokes on me. Robbed guards on me. Robbed copper on me. Robbed gold on me. Robbed fucking loads of stuff on me. Robbed anything he's going get you because Rob is a fucking scum. And I'm telling you now, don't fucking try and blackguard us ever again or say, wrong about any of my family again because you're fucking rats and everyone in Carla knows it they're afraid to tell you which is our fucking rats on disability running just t- t- tanning shops I can't go draw the fucking door with a scooter and you fucking BMWs and all these and you're trying to say you're, 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 you're criminals criminals you're fucking detectives that's what you are uh, handlers handlers for the Carla Gardy you're fucking rats now go fuck yourselves and no one ever come around me or any of my family again because you're only two Fucking rats and Ando, I'll get you if I fucking if you push one more button. Watch, watch, I'll lose it. No, Kevin, on to you. You turn around and you says to me, James, you're doing this, that, and the other for me, yeah? I know a man, a relation of ours, who wanted to do a bit of work with me, and he had something that you could have made a few quid out of, and he threatened him if he worked with me that you'd never work with him again, and he swore on his kids' lives and that, and you said you'd do this, do that, and do the other for me. You wouldn't let that man work with me, and I remember you coming trying to give me the yoke, what you said you've never done, that the smack, what you used to sell, you and Anthony. Remember when you, was, when you were bringing it to me and you were giving me in bits and pieces? But the man you were getting it off was trying to give it to me, but you wouldn't let him. 
Yeah, so you stop me on getting on that one too. And another thing, Kevin, you says you you're not right, you never get caught with nothing, right? And he was offered sold the police the undercover police five times, five times he sold himself. And Grandpa had called the soldiers and once I got eighteen months. What happened to Anthony? A slap on the wrist. What happened to you when you went up and broke up Louise's three or four times? Barn orders. No one gets out with special sittings on barn orders. I might have been in five or six of them straight to custody. The only man I've ever heard tell of in my life is you. A sixty five year old man was in the cell with me last year and he was 65 and he broke one bar an hour and he was putting custody for six weeks with me why are you so special why are you so special i'll tell you why because your fucking mother is a rat for the last 30 fucking year and that's a fact and she's been getting me caught for the last that's how i've done so much fucking jail because you hear everything about me and fucking hang on me but now that i know who me fucking rats are i know how i want to fucking get on with life now because i keep away from me because they're fucking rats and everyone in carla knows it and everyone that sees this knows i'm being stopped every second day of the week you're a fucking rats man look down outside your house watches are buying you they're on the door. How the fuck do you buy that on the door? And the guards not come near you. Because you're handing up people every few weeks. Vulnerables. Vulnerables. Because vulnerables, people that won't retaliate. But I ain't telling you now, you made a mistake by, by, by getting clear on cock. Because the fellow was caught with him will retaliate. And he's going to retaliate. And when he comes up for your address, I'm going to point him down to your address. Because there's an only fucking scum. I'm telling you, Kevin. And you got away, Kevin. Walking out the police station every week with, with breaking up Louise's. Breaking back. Never heard tell of. Never, ever, ever. Straight to custody. First time you do it. You walk through the peace test and hear four. Yeah. <laughs> Up there in the purple street, Shane Kyo was there. I slapped you around. You ran like a bitch. 
you're, you're in like a bitch when it hits up on top of the street. Your daddy going along, oh, he rang me. The whole town seen it down there, told your daddy fucked out of the shop. Your daddy got fucked out of the shop. Your daddy do nothing with me, Adam. Your daddy do shit with me. Come to me, ring my phone, and I'll meet you or your daddy. The first place I'm meeting you, I'm killing this. Go and hide up in your house, man. Go and hide up in your house. I come at him. I know this is going to get back to you. When I see you, I'm breaking your jaw. Boy, daddy, today, one on one. I'll bet your junkies, father, anywhere on my own. I'll bet you, and I'll bet your daddy, or bet the roads. You and your little crew. I'll meet you wherever you want. Down, down seven days a week. Adam, come to me. You're not even low down in Waterford. Young fellas are going to kill you down in Waterford, son. Young fella, I had to go up to your backyard one day. Uh, uh, I have to train. I have to train for the young fella. What do I do? I step. I fight the young fella free, Adam. They won't make a mockery on my family, I said. But your daddy will lose shit. Oh, come and fight me. I'll meet you wherever you want. Right there, hide up in there. Adam, another thing about it, son. Another thing about it, son. So your woman, Maria, she sucked that cock one night, son, for you. She sucked that cock. She ate the cock. Yeah, you're going home to a tramp, son. What's after sucking that cock all the time, son? Yeah, ask a woman about that. She didn't know nothing about that. She was down eat that cock, son. Where are Adam? Yellow teeth. Yellow teeth. Will you wear your daddy come out and fight me? Will you wear your father come down and fight me? Would you want to fight me? Or your daddy? With all the training you have down in the gym, Adam. Baby James, I'm not going to touch him. I'm just going to him. I won't run, son. Last night for an hour and a half. Ah, I do this and I do that. I toil up in that smelly, no good rotten bastard. And he... Will you please come and fight me? No one's paying attention to you. Adam Dyle, the no good smelly little whore. No good. No good never will be any good. Let me tell you for a few things about you. Number one. The whole town knows your daddy got your mother in her room. Dying. Your mother is dying, and your father is up in the York threatening her to come home. Healthy. Mill James came back around. Now you killed the woman. Listen, Ray, you're please ring me today. You won't be able to stand with me. A junkie, no good bastard. You or your daddy, you or your daddy, I meet you video, and ring my phone and ask me to fight. And I tell you, and I'm only waiting to see you. Get the cock off me. Get the cock off Bent her over. She went back up to you a couple of minutes after, son. A couple of minutes, she's out drinking one night. I give her a lift home. See this cock? Here, I rammed it down her throat. Yeah, Adam. I fucked your bitch. Get in the click, click, clack. Come to me, ring my phone. I'll break in your face. I'm not the one who was hiding in the house when the door. Third. You walk out of the house, hitting your door up and getting her back from my when the woman was dying. That's the only thing I would look for. Only thing I was running live about 600 yards up from me, man. And at the end of the walk, your dad's searching, and your daddy's trying to oh, I have a in his life, he's a rat man. Anything about it, don't kill me, son. Everyone knows I'm like, Sweeney. They don't feel rang me yesterday, they don't feel warm. Anthony, you're not worth slapping, man. Problem is right here right now, will you be the same man? I'm getting you on and breaking you in too hard. Right, I might get you, son. And he's dead there, he know. The guard's house is, man. Don't, don't, don't. I'm going to tell you something, Adam, don't you? I know, no legs. Remember baby just with you and two slaps at him. Remember Adam, yeah? Remember a couple of weeks ago, a young way. He knows what your daddy was and sister stuck off. You sure you're a he was? Your woman was pregnant when you were in jail, man. Come on, man. Come on. Come on. Does ever see you put her by by? He's, he has teeth like fed butts. Look at this. Look at him. Son, why don't you come out and fight me? I see them teeth there. Get them a good clean for you. Sorry, you've had a thousand pound either dead. I have to use an angry brain or get the dirt off him. Get the head out of Adam. He got my lucky shot, that's all. You're dead right what you're saying. He told any junkies anyway. Adam, you're only a tablet taker. You're not worth a slap in the mouth. Being honest, there's nothing in you. There's nothing in your daddy. Your daddy's only a crackhead. A smackhead. A beggar. That's straight out, Anthony Doyle. You're dead right what you're saying. A beggar. A junkie. He's no good for nothing, and Herman for the last 40 years. His bones are rotten, man. Two slaps into the chin, he drops stone dead. Adam's only a fucking Facebook gangster. Young Josh Buck, he ran him around the whole country. Come out and fight any of us today, Adam. Andy, I, I fight you, Adam, and Andy fights your daddy. Let's have it. You're not worth a slap in the neck, you dirty handicap. You nearly got better around the back of your own house in front of Willie's lady. You little shitbag, you. Yeah.